Welcome to this spoken tutorial on install JDK and build tools on Windows 10. In this tutorial, we will learn to install Java and Maven and Git and set environment variables for Java and and Maven. This tutorial is recorded using Windows 10 64-bit OS, WordPad and Firefox web browser. However, you may use any other editor or web browser of your choice. To practice this tutorial, you should have an internet connection to install the necessary packages. You should also have installed 7-zip file archiver. If not, then download and install it using this URL. The minimum hardware requirements for DSpace installation are i3 processor or above, 100 GB hard disk or more, 4 GB RAM or above. The commands used in this tutorial are in a file in the code files link on this tutorial page. Please download and extract the file before practicing. I have opened the commands file in WordPad editor on my machine. And I will use the same file to copy paste the commands during the demonstration. The shortcut to paste on the command prompt is Ctrl and V keys. To install DSpace, it is mandatory to have basic packages like Java, Ant, Maven and Git. Now, let us begin by installing the Java Development Kit. Open a web browser. In the address bar, type the URL as shown to view JDK 8 installers available from Oracle. Locate the installer file for Windows 64-bit. U271 in the installation file name is the release number which may be different in your case. X64 in the installation file name indicates 64-bit operating system. If you are using a 32-bit operating system, then you should download the installer for 32-bit OS. Switch back to the browser. My machine is a 64-bit OS. So I will download jdk-8u271-windows-x64.exe. A pop-up window opens up to accept the license agreement. Check the checkbox of the license agreement. And click on the button Download jdk-8u271-windows-x64.exe. X64 .exe. We will be redirected to the Oracle login page. If you do not have an Oracle account, please create an account and then log in to Oracle. I will enter the username and password of my Oracle account. If prompted, click on the Save File button to download the installer. The installation file will get downloaded in the default downloads directory. Go to the place where you have downloaded the file on your machine. In my case, it is in the downloads folder. Double click on the jdk-atu271-windows-x64.exe to begin the installation. In the user account control dialog box, Click on the Yes or Run button. In the Setup dialog box, click the Next button to continue the installation process. In the Custom Setup page, ensure that Development Tools is selected for installation. Click the Next button to continue. Another dialog box opens up to select the installation folder. The installation path is set to C colon backslash program files backslash Java 
backslash jre 1.8.0 underscore 271. If you wish to change the path, click on the change button. I don't wish to change the path, so I will not be clicking. Click on the next button to continue. JDK installation has begun. Installation is successfully completed now. Click on the close button to close the dialog box. Now, let us install Apache Maven, which is used to build DSpace source code. Switch back to the browser. In the address bar, type the URL as shown. This will download Apache Maven 3.6.3. .3. If prompted, click on the Save File option and then on the OK button. Switch back to the Downloads folder. Copy the file apache-maven-3.6.3-bin.zip to C drive. If prompted, click on Continue to provide administrator permissions for copying. Right-click on the file apache-maven-3.6.3-bin-zip. From the context menu, select 7-zip. Then from the submenu, select Extract here. The file extraction begins. The zipped contents are extracted in the apache-maven-3.6.3 folder. Open the folder apache-maven-3.6.3 by double-clicking on it. The extracted contents, bin, boot, conf, lib, are located in the path c colon backslash apache hyphen maven hyphen 3.6.3. In case the contents are extracted to any other folder, move them to this folder. Next, we will install the apache ant tool which is used to install DSpace. Switch back to the browser. In the address bar, type the URL as shown to download Apache Ant. If prompted, click on the Save File option and then on the OK button. Switch back to the Downloads folder. Like Maven, copy and extract the file apache-ant hyphen 1.10.9 hyphen bin.zip to C drive. Extracted contents bin, etc, lib, manual are located in the path c colon backslash apache hyphen ant hyphen 1.10.9. Now, let us set path variables for Java, Ant, and Maven. Go to My Computer or This PC. Right-click on the empty area and select Properties. Then click on the Advanced System Settings from the left panel. In the Systems Properties dialog box, make sure that the Advanced tab is selected. In the Advanced Settings, click on the Environment Variables button. In the Environment Variables dialog box, click on the New button in the User Variable section. New User Variable dialog box opens up. Let us create a user variable for JDK. Type the variable name as Java underscore Home. Next, let us type the value for the variable in the variable value field. We can do so by directly typing the path or by using the browse directory button. I will click on the browse directory button. Immediately, the browse for folder dialog box opens up. Browse to this PC, C drive, program files, 
Java and JDK 1.8.0 underscore 271 directory. Then click the OK button in Browse for Folder dialog box. Observe that JDK installation path is shown in the variable value. Click the OK button to save the variable. Similarly, create maven underscore home and ant underscore home variables. To do so, follow the steps used to create the java underscore home variable. Ensure that correct installation paths are entered for maven and ant. Now, let us set the path variable in the system variables section. Select the path variable in the system variables section and click the edit button. In the edit environment variable dialog box, click on the new button. A text field appears to set the path. Type the path of the JDK bin folder as shown. Press the enter button to save the variable. Similarly, set paths for maven and ant. Click the OK button to save the path variable. Now, click the OK button in the Environment Variable dialog box. Then, click the OK button in the System Properties window. Close the System window. Now, let us cross-verify the path variables set for JDK, Ant and Maven. Go to the search bar located at the bottom left of the taskbar. Then, type CMD. Click on the command prompt application. Here onwards, please remember to press the enter key after typing each command. In the prompt, type the command java space hyphen version. This will display the version of JDK which is installed on our machine. Then type the command ant space hyphen version. This will display the version of ant which is installed on our machine. Type the command mvn space hyphen version. This will display the version of maven which is installed on our machine. So, we have installed and set the environment variables for java, ant and maven. If JDK, Maven and Ant versions are not shown, then recheck the following. Location of the installation folders and path variables set in environment variables. Next, let us install the git version control system. Switch back to the browser. In the address bar, type the URL as shown to view available git downloads. Under the downloads section, click on windows. When prompted, click on the save file button to download the installer. The download of git installer begins. Now go to the downloads folder. Double click on git-2.29.2 Point two hyphen sixty four hyphen bit dot exe to begin the installation. In the user account control dialog box, click on yes or run button. In the git setup dialog box, click the next button continuously four times. The setup dialog box asks you to choose the default editor used by Git. 
In the drop down, make sure that Use Vim as Git's default editor is selected by default. If not, select the same. Then click on the next button continuously to install with the default configuration. Lastly, click on the install button. Once the installation is over, uncheck the checkbox of View Release Notes. Then click on the Next or Finish button. So now Git is installed on the system. Restart the system to bring all the configurations into effect. With this, we have installed and configured the required packages for DSpace installation. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned to install Java and Maven and Git and set environment variables for Java and, and Maven. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Do you have questions in this spoken tutorial? Please visit this site. Choose the minute and second where you have the question. Explain your question briefly. The spoken tutorial project will ensure an answer. You will have to register to ask questions. The Spoken Tutorial Forum is for specific questions on this tutorial. Please do not post unrelated and general questions on them. This will help reduce the clutter. With less clutter, we can use these discussions as instructional material. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by Ministry of Education, Government of India. DSpace Spoken Tutorial Series is funded by the National Virtual Library of India, Ministry of Culture, Government of India. This script and video for this tutorial was contributed by Pankaj Patil from IIT Bombay. And this is Nancy Varki signing off. Thank you for joining.